They have not seen any bird that attend meeting on how to fly. It's a lifestyle. They just fly. They don't train you every day. No. Come prayers, just be there. Create time for it. Amen. He said, I've heard your tears. He said, I've seen your tears. Behold. Behold. I will heal you. On the third day, thou shalt go up. Huh? Unto the house of the Lord. And I will add. God is still doing things. Unto your days. 50 years. And I will deliver you. Hey. And this city. That's him. Out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will deliver. When God wants to start now. Oh. All this was not a prayer request, though. Yes, you are just asking God for life. That's why I told you that gate did not come from darkness, from death, back to life empty. No. This is how God redeems you. When he brings you back, bonanza. And I will deliver you out of the city of the hand of the Assyria. And I will defend this city for my own sake, not for their righteousness. Not for their perfection. Who is God I'm saying? And for my servant, David. What brought all this? Yes. Tell somebody learn to cry. I, I, I played to you a message. Reverend Chris Oyakilome said, Try tears. T R Y. Try it. That it works. The later on he said, If you don't cry, cry for the fact that you cannot cry. <laughs> that means if you struggle to cry, cry is not coming. Just start crying because you don't know how to cry. What is this? I don't know how to cry. What is this? <laughs> I don't know how to cry. He said, just be crying that one. That you don't know. Because there are many people sitting here. Your eyes are stiff. You are the one who brought the topic Stephen Sin's cream. Very stiff. Oh Lord. I thank you. Most of those people who say prayer. They don't vibrate in prayer. You can't see their emotions involved. When your emotions are not involved, your tears will not be involved. Because tears, hey, get this. Tears is the highest level of emotion. When you start putting your hand on your knee, you kneel down, you raise your hand. Very soon, it will be confirmed with tears. But if you're always there, Lord, I thank you. Father, you put your hand like this. Oh, Lord. You're looking how everybody's praying. Blah, 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 blah. You are like, which kind of problem do they have here? <laughs> Father. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, what? <laughs> yes, yes. Then you repeat prayer. Do something. And you know something can be killing. You don't know anything in prayer. You don't have the word of God. You're empty. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Another guy is there sweating. Hello, refuse to have the stony heart. God said, You are my people, I will take away the heart of flesh and I'll give you. So I'll take away the stony heart and I'll give you a heart of flesh. A heart of flesh is a heart to feal. And Jesus was moved with compassion and he healed them. When Jesus came in front of Lazarus, great Bible said he wept. Of course, you know John 11 35. I mean, he wept so bitterly. When you see some people who are sick and you are touched, the f- that level of faith, notice I say faith is not bad, right? That level of faith increases. And you now know that this person can be healed. Say, devil, I didn't come here to play with you. There must be passion. Hey, watch from my pastor. I don't hide these things, though. When I teach you something, listen, you don't argue over 2 plus 2, which is 4, if I tell you I want to pass. You say, my dad, I lie. My dad, I lie. You have to accept it if you want to go for that. What I'm showing you huh, is a result. Yes, if it's not coming from your eye, check. No result has come. And if tears easily come from your eyes, check which tears. The way they are maltreating you. That's why you love some songs that, that help tears to come when you think of your sorrow. Remember I told you that song is wrong? Those who are coming for the first time, they're like, which song is wrong? 
They are just looking at the person you invited there. Did you hear that? Anyway, I came back for my prophecy and healing. And I'm not singing prophetically. No. <laughs> but that song is wrong. How can you offer all? After you became born again. Where did you get it back? I surrender. I surrender all. Unto Jesus I surrender. I surrender all. Unto you, my blood, said Savior. I surrender. I surrender all. Imagine, but Mr. Deba's son just came. Daddy, you are, you are not my father. So that is why. That's what you're singing. If you are surrendering this, you have it. You don't surrender a gun that is you are not holding. You can't go to the armed force and say, I surrender our weapon. They say, what is this? Say, this handkerchief. You didn't have it. If you are born again, you don't have what to surrender. You are, the Bible says you are, in 1 Corinthians 6, 20, say you are bought with a price. So you are not your own. You are somebody's property. So what do you have to offer? You are already an offer. You know, you didn't get that. Didn't the Bible say, you offer your life as living sacrifice? So what are you offering? It means you didn't offer your life. You're offering items. So learn how to cry. So that is, can we learn it? Yes. Just see the ones in the wine and then practice it. Okay. <coughs> no. <laughs> Check the one that walks. Hey, I'm telling you like your, your apostle. If you don't cry... If you don't learn how to cry in prayer, let me show you again. Because you are looking as if Hezekiah is different. Let's go to Second Chronicles, chapter seven. Let's see verse fourteen, very fast. That's good, sir. If my people, uh, which are called by my name, humble themselves and pray, he says, and uh, if they seek my face. And they turn away from their wicked ways, then I will heal, I will hear them from heaven, I will forgive their sins. And I'll do what? I'll heal their land. So it means prayer is humility. Do you know why? Do you know why prayer is humility? You have an appointment with the Minister of Territorial Administration in Yaoundé, and uh, he has to sign some document, and you want to see him, but uh, it's, it's proving a little bit difficult, but somehow you are related to the Secretary of State. And uh, the wife of the minister of finance and the firstborn to the minister of defense is your colleague when you were in Rostenbank. <laughs> and uh, somehow the guard, the presidential guard in the Unity Palace is your very friend. You were together in a <laughs> And now, why prayer? That's where the topic came from. <laughs> you enjoy how the topic came? Yes, then why prayer when there's a connection? Why prayer when I can pray, I can buy my drugs and be healed? Why prayer when I'm connected? Instead of going for a seed and praying over it, I better call the the guy who is connected to the ambassador. Did you remember Frank Edward's story? Yes, sir. He passed through connections and met the ambassador himself. And all the team said, wow, we'll be hearing your music. You want to go to the U.S.? They said, yes. He said, yes. He said, wow, that's wonderful. Okay, go and come back and get your, your, your document. He came back and they said, we're not giving you a visa. And he went back and prayed. God said, I took you there, not for connection. And the next time he wanted to go, he passed through nobody. He prayed over, he sowed the seed. And when they gave him visa... But we will not learn. Praise God. And he didn't tell the story to me alone. All of you heard the story. He said the same story. Sinai said the same thing. When you are proud, the talent is there. You can play the keyboard well. You can sing well. You can dance well. But pride takes away the glory. It's called Ichabod. God doesn't take away gift. Mama, you get me? 
Are you getting me, sir? God doesn't take gift. Gift, he said, is without repentance. The result of gift is called glory, which can be ichabod. The glory is departed. You sing, people clap. That's all. You go nowhere. You play, people appreciate. No blessing. You are still running around the same point. But the guy whom you thought you are better than. Do you know that when you have pride, you tell me that the teacher, the pacha, that's when you have pride. He said they are preferring him. <laughs> His partiality. I know. I'm the real person. If you are the real person, resort you show it. I don't know if I'm communicating. By prayer is one way to know who is humble. And if you're not humble, you won't be able to pray. Hey, do you know when people pray? Let me tell you, that's not love. Hey, somebody will be blessed now. When there's a problem, some people are fighting you. Some issues are happening. You close the door. No, that's not prayer. That's selfishness. Because you want God to change the result, not that you want to praise him. No, you didn't get that. You didn't get that. Hear this. Who accommodated this? Get this story. Who accommodated this? Who is there? Please, it's John. Come in. John entered and sat down. Please, for food. And he ate and left the, the, the plate on the table and went. Next day, who is there? It's John. He opened. Please, it's food ready. No matter how you're a good Samaritan, you prefer to be a bad Pharisee. <laughs> I'm telling you. What would John do? If John is wise, you went to the market to buy food stuff. On coming, he's behind the house. Sweeping. Without being sent. You will be the one to call him. John, food is ready. <laughs> I love this story. He answered my problem. <laughs> but if you only come to God when it's a challenge, how will he? He said, if you call me, comma, in time of trouble, I will answer you. John should learn to clean the house before food time. Before food gets ready. Come back to that house. After you finish eating, it's called Thanksgiving. You wipe the table, wipe the chair, go to the city, arrange places. Or did they say, thank you very much? That's how you should relate in spiritual things. Don't come to God when it's time for husband. When it's time for wife. Lad, show me the right one. So God now is a robot. Whom you control at when you are available. I'm changing somebody's mindset. God needs you when you're fine. Who's a friend? All the time. That's a friend. Not the one who comes. Quick, 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 say, please, I want you to help me. Even if the state council, you you get angry with you. When you're fine, you don't show up. When there's a problem, say my neighbor's child's firstborn. He's taking our former land, which is now our present land. His uncle has joined with our firstborn son's uh, grandfather's cousin. State council is mad. Say leave my office. I'll call you back. But this is the time you open the door. State. He said, How are you? First question, any problem? Say no, no, no problem. I just thought of you and I bought you. I was just like, I was in Douala. I thought of you and I bought you this drink. My God. Just small. A drink? With no problem. Okay, he wants to test it. He takes a drink. So how is it? No, fine. So still, how is work? No, still, stay very well. Okay, so I'll believe in you. Eh? You closed the door and you went? He may not drink. <laughs> you understand why? This is too good for you. You want to poison me? Who walk? <laughs> he has never seen that in the country. Just like that is very strange. People saw when they only have a problem. Hey, get get B. Should I say that? He say it. They should be a time you sow a seed without prayer request. Yes, <laughs> wow! I touched my sons. You don't sow a seed. They say it's for what? He says a seed. For what? To thank God. For what? For him. That means there's no request, sir. There's just a seed. So like that, that is, those are the best seed. How, what, was, what, was, what was, I'm trying to recall. You said I've not read the Bible well. What was Solomon's prayer request? Uh, no request. 
one is already well. The guy killed 1,000. He killed the first one. Pow! God take the smell. God eats the smell. I don't know what he's doing with smell. Maybe. <laughs> but you know, you know, we are like God now. You can dictate what is being cooked. Hmm. Come on, chaff. The other guy said, no, na ekwang. They will check him again. Yes, na ekwang, na ekwang. You are like God. <laughs> That's what he eats. Say amen to that. Amen. Immediately. They killed the second. He killed the, f- the hundred. Second hundred. Nine hundred. He is still killing. God is trying to hear what do you want. Nothing. Until he killed one thousand. He said now that this is offered to God. God said what? God was the one who made prayer requests. He said Solomon stop. What do you want? <laughs> I'm showing you a more excellent way. Shout hallelujah. If God is not involved, eh? that's why our slogans are, are wonderful. They are, they are terrific. When God steps over, the situation steps on. So it's what? Just get God involved. What will happen? Things will get dissolved. You just see things dissolving. Mountain will wax like, white, like level land. Hmm? Things will clap their hands as you pass by. Because you are God's choice. You are God's right Choice. It's called right choiceness. Amen. My little brother, scholar handles. I have the Solomon wisdom. I have it, and you have. You offer without request. Learn to pray when there's no problem. This is the holy throne. The Bible says, "Come boldly unto the throne room of grace, that you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need." When you find grace to help in time of need, you will use it. I don't know who got me here. So once in a while, if you're in the camp, man, before you sleep, you just stay around. And at times, don't make prayer to official. You go somewhere, you sweep the place, you arrange it, you have put your Bible, you have put rosary. You have put something, you hang things, uh, just hang. You come there, you kneel down, you face the thing, you say, Oh God, is that where God is talk? God is ubiquitous. <laughs> He's everywhere. How God was in Jesus reconciling the world to Himself. Every venue. So, when do you pray? Everywhere. I wish men pray in their room. I wish men pray where? So, I wish men pray everywhere with lifting up of holy hands. Without wrath. So I wish men pray everywhere. So start praying. You're in your car driving alone. What an opportunity. Those of you who have cars, start using it. Let me teach you the secret of vehicles, right? When I was small, there was something they called CD. They call it Workman. And it was uh, audio. So I, I, I said, God, if I buy this, it will praise you. And I had to save money and save money. The thing was expensive. And I bought it. I was playing only Christian music and messages. Then later on, God gave me money to buy the DVD type. You unlock it like this. The cover is screen. It's like laptop. There was no laptop then. The place on a, on a CD. I bought it. It was nice. Man, I was watching this stuff until the battery got dead. It became now a desktop. You have to put it on charger before you please. I was fine. I would go to Saturday school in Kumba. I will sit there. I watch messages. And my guys are here. Flobert is here. Rex is there. They will come and watch, will watch messages upon messages. I said, Lord, this DVD must praise you. I said, Lord, if I can buy TV for my house, 2008, the first TV was bought in our house. Our house was cemented. We don't throw water outside. As you drink water, you just throw on the floor. It has to water the place. That's how we sat in the parlor. 2008, just eight. Just eight. We rented five rooms. We don't pay up to 5,000 a month for five rooms. But yet we're owing three years. And it's not a joke, this is my altar. For, for, we're owing three years. One year was not up to 20 or 30,000. One year. But we couldn't pay it. I was enjoying myself. I said, Lord, if I buy this, it's praising you. And God will allow me to buy it. Till today. I don't have selection. If you enter my car, I put it on. It's gospel. Some of you, you go to your pitching hall, you see Makosa. Alondo, is Alondo a music? <laughs> Samidiko, Sinaj, Sinaj, Fran Edward, 
Davido. Uh, you, you are just, you are. Even chocolate has color. <laughs> and at one time, when you're alone, you slot it. I said, what do you mean? I'm a London. It's okay, it's okay. A London Mangola. A, a mighty brother wave you. Please, I'm going to your direction. Please. Daddy, quickly. You wave. You look mirror. Before you reverse. Pew. You remove a London. Take Sinash, put it. Pam. Waymaker. You're reversing. Miracle worker. <laughs> Light in the darkness, my God. That's who you are. Why are you going to you say I'm going to Monica? You go. You say yes. Yeah, enter. You put volume more. You are a thief, a very wonderful thief. You say I go. Then some guys too are inquisitive. He sends his hand in speech. Oh, open now. Remove your CDs. He say, hey, Makosa. I say no. I don't know what that some person leave that thing for themselves. We boy them. Some so I say they don't on my own. Give me look, I said, I said, I can go give the lie. It's a lie, man. I got you. No. The Bible says, Whatsoever he gana protene gazola handas. Whatsoever you do in deed or in word, he said, do all in the name of the Lord. Giving glory to God through Christ Jesus. Whatsoever. Let your phone praise God, man. Let your laptop do the same thing. You, you are encompassed round about with all the 16 cardinal points. <laughs> they want to shoot you here. God is there. You can't get me through any stuff. Even my little dog praises God. Everything around me. The person, let every living soul. Somebody's been blessed here. Hey, as you go home today, you notice there's no problem. Pray. <laughs> you notice there's no challenge boss into prayer get to the crusade you say Lord we have come again Ooh, you're wonderful you're so awesome that's how to minister to the Lord just tell him how big he is you're the lily of the valley when you came on earth you refused to divide water you walked on it and the seas and the breeze listened to you you are a man yet a God in man you defeated Satan with your hands and gave me victory how wonderful is your name you say what you mean and mean what you say. By the time you're finished, God will be asking you, what do you want? I saw a woman, I saw a young girl dance before the king. Empty dance. And the king said, make a request. He said, please, kill, kill John the Baptist. And John the Baptist died. Because some other person praised the king. Then your Lord says, I'm king of kings. When it's time to dance, you think that is this girl who is leading you to dance. You, you're seeing yourself a little bit bigger. You're walking in that big office. How can this guy make you dance? No! Don't dance only when the apostle is leading you. Dance because the praise is to God. Boast in dance. Let me show you the last one. You like this one. I said you like it. Uh, to get a copy of this message, dial... Last two three seven six five two eight four eight six six eight. You can also email us at infos at ltminternational.org.